with Beth from Sweet Treats. Um, her channel's just been renamed recently. And I'm here in Sidmouth because I fancied to pop in and say hi to Beth. Hi! Hi! <laughs> um, also, I was walking down the Bys, um, which is a park which leads to Beth's dad's house. <laughs> and um, I noticed a competition, so I guess I could include it in this video because I didn't have that many competitions. Um, it was a photo competition um, for you to take pictures of anything in the buys in Sidmouth and then you post them in um, and there are quite a few prizes I think you can get. What, what are the prizes, Beth? And the prizes are gift vouchers for the garden centre here in Sidmouth. So I think you can get um, the main prize is about £25 garden vouchers. So that's quite good if you want to do up your garden. Um, make sure you can check out the Facebook page that they've got, Friends of the Buys. And I think that's it from this competition, is it? Yeah. Okay, next competition is the Laura Thomas poetry competition where you have to write 40 lines of poetry and send it in to the website so just search it online I'm sure you can find something to do with it um so should we talk about your channel Beth um yeah um it's just really started haven't yet uploaded any videos but hope to soon um I'm mostly going to be with Zebra Zoe, DJ Edge 10 and ID Universe. And we're just going to make any videos we like just for fun. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of Doctor Who ones now because of we want to hear what you think about the new Doctor Who. I didn't like him at all. What, no. what do you think? He, was, he didn't make a very good impression. Um, whether that was down to him or it was the script or just the filming, we want to hear. So comment. This episode here has been filmed one day after the first episode ever of um, the 12th Doctor, Peter Capaldi. Unfortunately, loads of people wasted their money on cinema and it wasn't a good episode at all. Um, although, every... although there were interactive things at some cinemas I don't think it was that good I you? think it was just a rip off and yeah. a waste of money I think they should scrap most of the team but they should keep Jenna because yeah. she is just her totally part was very amazing. good yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I think that's it from us isn't it um yeah should we hand over to David to review films type stuff yeah well, okay bye movie it's awesome you guys get the DVD and the blu-ray it's out now go check it out because there's a ton of bonus features on there and also James and I went to see the Lego movie a couple of months back it's awesome everything is awesome when you're part of ID so go get the disc because it's got bonus stuff which I reckon you would like to check out so also another film that James and I saw when it just came out Age of Extinction which is awesome it's the fourth Transformers film well excluding Battleship and any other films so yes so this is Michael Bay's fourth thing um, and James does a complete review plot synopsis the entire thing in Sci-Fi Saturday uh, for the four years so you can go check that out on Ironside Davros also um, another film that we went and saw just a couple of days after Transformers Age of Extinction was How to Train Your Dragon 2 it's brilliant I mean um, I'm going to give you a quick little run over of stuff that happened so basically Following on from the TV series, Riders of Burke, which um, follows shortly after the previous film, um, then peace is kind of restored with dragons and the Vikings on Burke. But then as Hiccup seems to explore places beyond Burke, then he kind of 
finds new threats and dangers out there. I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but I'm going to tell you that what he finds out there, um, it's something from his, kind of from his past, from his dad's past even, from Stoic's past, um, as he's the chief, and he's experienced some stuff before, which Hiccup is about to encounter now, and he's about to find out more about himself as well. And also, um, so as he explores beyond his home where Burke is at peace with his dragons, obviously there's other places that won't be. So that introduces the new plot for this second film. So, to conclude Zepazori's summer updates, I've come to Paradox Gardens to escape the attack of the fans, and James will join me in a moment to make the debut pilot review of the upcoming series of The Bookshelf on DJ Edge 10 followed by the exclusive premiere pilot for a possible sub-series to take place within Sci-Fi Saturday. So you guys can have your say in the comments below or in the contact form, which is on our website, ironsidedivorceuniverse.weebly.com. The URL will be there. Um, to give your vital input in conference decisions behind the scenes on ID. So, I will close my film reviews with these last three movies, all out now on DVD. Here, we have the Lego Movie, Clabbing the Chance Meeples 2, and Frozen. Right, so, um, firstly, as I mentioned earlier, the Lego Movie has a ton of bonus features in its DVD, so it's worth popping down to your local superstore and grabbing yourself a copy. Um, this is a nice inclusion, giving credit to those who want to treasure the disc at home. The special features include fan-made films, or as they are said to be, top-secret submissions and a sing-along of the well-known song that is stuck in everyone's head, Everything Is Awesome. Also included is a free ticket to Legoland, which you get within the inside cover. So, it's all good. Um, bonus features though, on Cloudy with the Chance Meeples 2. Um, because obviously, of course, as all films are nowadays, you get the UV copy, well, most at least, um, ones that have the contract. Uh, you can get the UV copy of the Lego movie, the Warner Brothers um, picture. The same applies with Sony's Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. Um, this film came out a while ago um, on in cinema and on DVD, but I still recommend you go get it if you haven't got it yet. Go buy it for yourself now, although obviously after the video. Um, so, th this film has five times as many bonus features as the Lego Movie. This includes the filmmaker's commentary, the anatomy of a food animal, production design back in the kitchen, um, awesome end credits and basically behind the scenes of how they made them with puppets and all sorts, cloudy cafe, what's on the menu, building the food animals, the mysterious Sasquatch, Sasquatch I think it's pronounced, and delicious production design. Also. Awesome music video by Cody Simpson, La Da Dee. He is a brilliant artist, brilliant song, and also the making of the music video is also included in there, so get it because it's got a ton of stuff. It's brilliant. Now, um, also, of course, the next film I don't really have to say much about, other than to mention the title of this next film. It, it, it's none other than Disney's Frozen. This bonus feature, included on the 3D Blu-ray, is limited to comparison in its 2D copy. However, this is most likely due to compression on the disc. Despite this drawback though, both discs are included in this pack. You've got the 2D and the 3D. So if you don't have a 3D TV, you can, get, uh, you can watch the alternate version. The 3D disc, you can find an exclusive original um, theatrical short from the film. It's called Get a Horse. Um, on the 2D disc, you can also get uh, The Making of Frozen, the musical, Defrosted, Disney's Journey from Hans Christian Andersen to Frozen, and Deleted Scenes with introduction by directors Chris Buck and Jennifer Lee. And of course, the most awesome song of all time, Let It Go, music video, and uh, you also get a Frozen teaser trailer. Now, being statistically the most successful film ever produced in the film industry, you can still go see this blockbuster now in cinemas today, eight months after its original release. So, yes, guys, go watch Frozen right now, th this second. Let it go, let it go. Right, yes. Um, yes, so go watch Frozen right now, this second, ignore him. 
um, after the bookshelf, of course, which will take place this precise instant.